up next for the collection I got Toy Biz X-Men Classic Storm you know I barely just got her you know like I've never had her this is the first time I'm ever gonna have a Storm figure like ever and so I still have it in package cost me about twenty dollars and uh, you know it doesn't actually say classics anywhere they just you know that's just what us Marvel figures collectors like to call it it's got X-Men right here it's got some pictures of the characters so I just wanted to show the box real quick you know it's got Storm with posable display base it's got another picture and on the back got a brief little instructions you know display base Marvel Legends status you know get a picture of Storm and a small read up like a really small one but I don't want this video to be you know about the packaging or nothing I just wanted to show you real quick so I'm going to open this up give you a closer look at Storm all right, and here she is out of the package, ready to be reviewed. Let's take a look at her. It's pretty cool. Wait, hold on, let me focus it real quick. Okay, it's better. It's pretty cool, look at her. From what I've seen, this is like the best storm figure there is in the six inch scale looks awesome I like the, the whole costume colors and the paint it's pretty good I don't like the uh, the Marvel Legends one where she has all black and the variants the Mohawk one I don't like I don't care for that look I like this one a lot it reminds me a lot of the 90s cartoon it's pretty crazy this is pretty rubbery Look at all the detail in it. You can see the, all the creases and the paint is awesome. Like it's like white with like some light blue in there and the yellow trimming. And it's all over the rest of her costume as well. It's got the heels. It's got the detail on her boots. Crazy. And the X's are actually sculpted on right here. Cool. But uh, I find this figure a little hard to stand, you know. Like, she's kind of, like, you can get it, but for sure she's not going to stay there. Like, like maybe the wind will blow her down. Maybe you sneezing. Or, like, a little bump on the shelf. She'll just fall down right away. Look at the sculpting on the hair. It's pretty crazy. And the face. face is okay. It's not the best in the world, but not bad either at all. It's alright. Not bad at all. The um the cape thing, it's um it kinda hinders her slightly like like not a lot, but it kinda does. Plus it makes her back heavy. But you can always take them off too, but it doesn't seem easy though. Okay, so articulation wise all she can do. She can turn her head left and right, hindered by her hair, like a lot. She can go up and down slightly, but I'm not sure if that was intended, or maybe her head is just heavy from the back, because her hair. Shoulders are in uh, somewhat of a, like, one of those armpit joints right here, yeah. And then pin and socket shoulders as well. Swivel at the bicep. Two points in the elbow. Wrist. Swivel. And is there a hinge at the hand? I'm not sure. No. There's no hinge at the hand. I'm a little surprised. Surprise, Toy Biz. What the hell? It's not a big deal, though. So her hands are sculpted, you know, open completely. That one's open for a high five. And this one's kind of like, you know, peace. She has ab crunch, which does not work very well. She does have waist swivel as well, and pin and socket legs that go outwards like this, and up, actually almost nothing going up, no, she cannot go up, oh there we go, just kind of snaps, and uh, right here swivel at the boot, two points in the knee, 
all the way and swivel at the thigh I mean at the thigh, the shin right here hinge at the, at the foot but no ankle pivot or toes so yeah it looks really good I think looks awesome but it's still too hard to stand up but yeah my opinion on Storm like just character wise she's cool but um like she's kind of annoying with her little sayings you know wind you know burst of storms and blah 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 you know it's alright but sometimes I'm just like ah why do you have to talk so much but that's just me you know that's my preference you know that because I like characters like Wolverine you know he's a badass he's just like alright let's do this you know and Storm's like you know water you know wash away all these all this crime and blah 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 so you know that's just me and she's cool and really powerful too but I don't really like her lines that much yeah so let's do the um the size comparison if I can get her to stand up here we go she was approximately six inches I'll bring in some other figures to compare her we got Cyclops again as you predicted and here's the next storm it's not bad at all they're about the same height Storm's hair might make her taller though. And here is also Toy Biz Marvel Legends X Men box set Rogue with the jacket I gave her. They're about the same height as well. Storm might be slightly taller, but then also Rogue's legs are kind of spread out a little more. Like I think that's as far as she can go. And here is also Toy Biz Marvel Legends Psylocke. And she's a little shorter. It's kind of weird. Yeah, why not? I don't have any problem with that. So if you ask me which one, which storm do I like from all six inch figures, it'd be this one right here. She's awesome. Like the cape is great for, you know, flying poses. Magnificent. Just like crazy. But yeah, I haven't seen any other good Storm figure. Just the Marvel Legends wearing all black. You know, I haven't seen Hasbro do anything either. I wonder why. But yeah, that was my opinion on the best Storm figure for my X-Men team. Alright, thanks for watching.